I'm in range of Woodhammer, though. That's like the main issue. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Freddy Fazbear. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> so today we're going to be cooking with Blood Moon or Saluna. Now, the, the team, unfortunately, is not legal on ranked battles. Let me show you that right now. So there's something going on with the game. Someone's going to get fired over this. But if you go into double battles, you try to pull up with the heat, you know, the Ursaluna is not going to be let in. But for some reason, Pheasantipity is. I have no clue. Uh, Ekans is also banned. It's just any Pokemon that isn't one of the legendaries is banned from ranked ladder right now, even though they should all be. So we're going to be in the casual battle ladder tonight. And we're going to try to get some good games. All right, so this team is legal. Despite not being the best, it is legal. I don't even know what to do into this. There's there's like Ndidi Snorlax, so you can't count it out. But also like, there's a Noctowl. Let me let me zoom in on that Noctowl. We'll make Brady's life easier on the editing side. There he is, Felipe. Felipe, what will he do? So I mean, I should be able to, I don't even know if I wanna get up Trick Room on him. I think we can, uh, I think we're just gonna go with the Flutter main lead and we'll bring the Ursa Luna for an end game in the back. And for my last Mon, I could set up the Trick Room myself, but I think I'd get a lot more value out of Iron Hands. I guess it could be a Hypnosis Noctowl. That could be an option. I don't know though. <laughs> Hello, Snorlax. Oh, between games, I need to update my trainer card. I tend to update my trainer card every time I... I'm, I'm going to try to do that for every video. I'm going to have a new trainer card with the Pokemon in question. So it looks like they are going to try to go for this Trick Room. Don't be Psychic Seed. It's Psychic Seed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, That Psychic Seed's going to make me sneeze, bro. Yo, why is Snorlax leaning in, though? Wait, he's like totally leaning into this match. He's like... This is the most engaged Snorlax has ever been in a match. <laughs> just staring each other down. Yo, I love this game. All right, anyways, um, I, I'm sorry about the Ndidi, man. I know you're gonna tear on me. It, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. This is still gonna do so much. Oh, I could have Dark Pulsed. I could have Heat Waved. No Trick Room, interesting. What is he cooking? All right, well, Ndidi's gone, but I don't know what he's going for. Am I gonna get like heavy slammed? But why would you tear a grass in front of this? I'm so confused. It's the casual battle ladder. It's it's whatever. Belly drum, okay. Well, I don't care who you think you are. I don't care if you're, wait. Okay, no, no, it, it's it's gotta be gluttony, right? I'm, I'm like, what if he's thick fat? Like, that's my concern. I'm like, he could legitimately just be a thick fat Snorlax. All right, well. We're going to play a little game called If I Miss This, I'm Uninstalling the Game. I should really just go Iron Hands. I want to bring out the bear so bad, but I just can't. Watch him be thick fat. He's If he lives this, he's totally thick fat. Yeah, it's it's got to be thick fat because he's citrus berry. I still think this might KO. Totally thick fat. <laughs> no way. Anyways, yeah, he's totally thick fat, bro. So I mean, like, my iron hands is faster, right? I'm gonna fake out. Is there any reason not to just fake out and overheat it again? Let's just overheat again. Yeah, yeah, I thought he might protect, but like, it, it's a casual battle ladder. I have no idea what's going on. All right. Well, the good news is, I mean, iron hand should KO from this range, unless he's like invested in speed. We should be fine. But whoa, dude, this Snorlax is. It's kind of crazy, dude. It's kind of a crazy set. Also, I love that Snorlax is kind of a... He has kind of, like, fur on him now in this game. I mean, he always has, but it's always been, like, flat. The texture mapping makes it go crazy. There's that knockoff. I don't have an item, Stinky. Alright. Goodbye, Snorlax. Oh, oh, his fainting animation is so good in this game. I thought he would completely fall over, but just sitting down. It's hard for him to stand up, man. Man, this Rillaboom is making it hard for me to get my Ursa Luna in. <laughs> Fluttermane? Why were you in the way there? All right, uh, let's Volt Switch and Protect here. And this is a slow Volt Switch. So what I'm going to do is cause my opponent to get very scared. Drain Punch, hello? I mean, 
How do I feel about this? Uh, Shadow Ball shouldn't one-shot me because of how bulky I am. I should basically always be able to get this Icy Wind off. And then win with, like, Specs Heat Wave. So we're gonna go Ursa Luna here because he hasn't made an appearance yet, but he might just be the sack. Oh, holera. To Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> you know, let's click this move. I haven't clicked it yet. Let me let me hit him with the... I'm gonna go for it. Whatever. Okay, I am faster. That's all I really needed. Like, everything's in range of Heat Wave. I no longer have to think that hard. I'm gonna lose my Ursa Luna probably this turn. Unless they doubled the, uh, the Flutter Main. But I think I live? No, I don't. Okay. But he's in range of Heat Wave now. Or even Snarl, probably. I'm in range of Woodhammer, though. That's, like, the main issue. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye, Freddy Fazbear. Oh, he's crazy! <laughs> How did I live? How did I live that, dude? All right, get in here, Brian Hands. That's his full name. Hyper voice, fake out. Incredible. Ooh, they ask him how he's doing, and he says he's doing Monkey Dory. I mean, I should always be able to get off Trick Room in here, right? I should always be able to lead off with the with the dude, man. I still need a nickname, my Ursa Luna. I don't know what I'm going to name him. All right, uh, let's also bring the Kind Bonnet. Actually, hold on. Is this guy's item stupid? Did I mess up the EV spread? 220. Yeah, the Citrus Berry is suboptimal. I should fix that. I'm not gonna. Um, and we'll bring the Iron Hands, because Iron Hands could go crazy in this match. Yeah, I'm doing Hyper Voice, but I think that... I, I legitimately think that, like, Blood Moon Ursaluna could be a good, like, Combine Leftovers user. Just because it, it it has, like, Iron Hands bulk, right? Where, like, if you invest heavily into that Spadef, after a uh, single Combine, it becomes really difficult to knock out. Then you have, like, the Leftovers recovery. Like, the Combine basically gives you an Assault Vest and a Choice Specs in a single turn to set up. And under Trick Room, it's, like, real easy to set up. I mean, like, look at Ursaluna right now. It runs Swords Dance most of the time. Okay, so they have a couple of ways of stopping Trick Room. The monkey does get fake out. Let's get in Mr. Hands, and I'm going to attempt a Trick Room. Please don't be specifically Sniper plus Choice Specs or whatever. All right, don't freeze my Iron Hands. That too would also disappoint me. Oh, he's plotting something. He up to something. All right, um, the monkey cannot be allowed to leave this game alive. I will proceed to Wild Charge him and Moonblast him, because you gotta be Sash if you're doing that. There it is. Oh, I know where this is going. No, never mind. I thought I knew where it was going. Um, turns out they don't care. I would actually really love to lose a Pokemon this turn. Does that sound weird? I would love if one of my Pokemon just got knocked out. Specifically you, Mr. Hands. Oh, he's not gonna get knocked out now. Man, Iron Hands, why you gotta be broken, dude? Oh, wait, hold on. We might be good. I actually, I legitimately wanted Iron Hands to go down that turn, and he would have if he wasn't so broken. Because then I just get the free Freddy Frazbear switch in. All right, uh, let's just wild charge anyways. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna follow me. Um, and I will Moonblast. The goal here is by the end of the next turn, I wanna get in Mr. Fazbear. I, I must ask once again, who made this Pokemon? Why is Iron Hands so broken? All right, cool. Can you knock out my, my hands? They too fear the, the bear. They know that the bear is in the back, but guess what? Regardless, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's ready. Yeah, Ogre Pond has the potential to be one of the best Pokemon in the format. Hello, Inteleon the Unrivaled. Nice eardrums you got there, buddy. Let's go ahead and fix that. Dude, this Inteleon's safe nowhere from the bear. I'm going to find him at his job. Call that FNAF 1. I'm going to find him at his last gig. Call that FNAF 2. <laughs> Then I'm gonna pull up to his sister's location, and I don't know. I'm trying to make too many Five Nights at Freddy's jokes. Jeez. All right, good thing that thing's a physical attacker because we totally eat this. <laughs> Wait, I did not know you got that move, dude. Um, I think we're fine. Mouse hold, hey little guy. Hey there, buddy. Are you a fan of the moon? What's are you are you are you a fan of of just looking at the moon? Hold on, how many turns are left to trick room? That that depends. That that that, des that decides what I do here. I sh the responsible player would just hyper voice and lunar blessing here. I think I should do that. There's no reason to to helping hand. 
Yeah, no, he's 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 accepted his fate. Freddy Fazbear has destroyed yet another family. Dude, I, I legitimately think this Pokemon might be a little bit busted. Like, it's hard to position, don't get me wrong, but like, it might be a little bit busted. Yeah, let me fix my trainer card real quick. Uh, yeah, that's perfect, perfect. Look at that trainer card, that's beautiful. With our trainer card updated, we are ready to roll. All right. This is a como o We are not changing our approach to the game. To change it would be an insult to Ursalunas everywhere. However, I will be bringing um, Fluttermane this time. In all honesty, I could probably just lead off Fluttermane plus like Chiyu, but I, I really want to use the Ursaluna. <laughs> no way he named it that. There's no way he named it that, bro. Bro, and he's soundproof? Bro, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna beat this thing? He's soundproof. How am I gonna beat him? Give me a second. Does he know that this is a special attacker? He might not. Oh, he does have Clangorous Soul. That that does put a little bit of a... That does kind of become an issue here. Okay, um, do they Terra Steel? Yes or no? Let me look at their team again. They might Terra Steel. I'm actually kind of convinced they're going to Terra Steel, but I'm just different. We're on casual battles, so I can't really confirm or anything. Like, I, like we're not at a rank where I can be like, yes, that is going to Terra Steel. Also, it's day two of the format. We have no idea. The, the format hasn't even come out. I can't make a prediction on a Kamoa moveset. But if I call the Terra Steel, just know that I was right in my head. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? I could have Earth Powered so hard. This should still hurt even though it's resisted and stuff. <laughs> Why does that do so much? He eats. He's crazy. He's the best Pokemon on Earth. None can stand to his might. Also, that's totally within Moonblast range. I'm just going to choose to believe that. No one's allowed to tell me I'm wrong, okay? It'll, it'll, it'll hurt my feeling. He's got Vacuum Wave. <laughs> When did they give that to him? Is that new? That's new, right? Like that just that just came out. Okay, we're good. Thank you, silly duck. Don't get burned, I'll cry. Silly duck. <laughs> silly duck. Get in here, Brian. So that's an issue. Um how do we deal with that? I guess it depends. There's two turns left in Trick Room. I think we just lose. That is that is how I'm viewing the situation. I think we lose. Let me just let let me let me just let me just cope for a second. Yep, no, I want I was thinking like, hey, maybe I should wild charge here. I I I didn't. I didn't. That's twice in one game where I was like, oh, I know what's going to happen, but but then I didn't act upon it. It's so over. So, I mean, I could lock Icy Wind, but I really doubt that helps here. Let me do some math. Shadow Ball, that is, uh, one, that is 120 base power. Icy Wind, that's times four. That is how much time do I have? 30 seconds? Okay, that's times four. So 55 times four is 220. 75% of 220 is like what? 150-ish? 155? 160? I'm gonna say 160. So this is still stronger. Can you like be Scarf? He's not Scarf. We eat that though, because he's Brian Hands. Can I like... I was gonna say, can I not miss the landers here? Alright, that didn't KO. Um... Still not over. Oh, it's over. I should still be faster than that guy. That's the thing. Let me Wild Charge here. And Icy Wind again. And if they can miss a Bleak Wind or something, uh, I legitimately have a chance to win.
All right, they tailwinded here. That's pretty interesting because I think I'm still faster than Landorus because I'm at plus one or because, uh, yeah, because I'm at plus one speed. Landorus tends to only run enough speed to outspeed like um, Fluttermane if uh, they're under tailwind. But with the speed booster, I should still be faster because that's just how big of a gap it is in the speed. Ryan Hans's attack is becoming um, kind of hilarious. Drain Punch. All right, let's hope. I I, leg I don't know if I'm faster. I was just kind of like guessing. I'm legitimately just coping right now. Oh, he protected. Okay, well, it is what it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and say I don't live that flare blitz. Nope. But you know what does happen here? I get the super ultra mega crit, and that's gonna drain all the health of of the of the arcanine right right here here we go super ultra mega crit brady edit the end of this so it looks like i won just have iron hands just run around on the screen and beat the living just just beat beat the life out of both of these pokemon wow guys look i won the game bugged though because my pov is actually the other way i mean the trick room goes kind of hard if I can get it off, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I could. Uh, you know what? I believe. I believe we can do it. I just believe. You might not believe. I believe. Let's bring in Brian Hands and Gasolina. Brian Bundle. A lesser player. A lesser player would protect their Ursaluna. I am not a lesser player. <laughs> I'm about to trick room on him and get the throat spray all in one turn. Let me just remove my ground weakness really quick. Or my water weakness, I mean. Ow. Don't dazzling gleam. I'll cry. It's so over for them, dude. We live that. It's so over. <laughs> I'm afraid the trick room's already up. I'm sorry, I believe you'll find the trick room is quite up. <laughs> All right, um, there's no reason not to just Lunar Blessing here. I don't need the Helping Hand right now. They didn't know. They had no clue. Thank you, Silly Duck. Also, that's totally Specs Flutterman. Yeah, five turns and Trick Room just activated, dude. By the way, if anyone here's a fan of the rapper Danny Brown, um, you can get him to say Five Nights at Freddy's, or you can hear him say the words Five Nights at Freddy's because he wrote... A song with, um, with he wrote a song with Freddy Dread called Five Nights at Freddy's. And you just hear Danny Brown with like his, his flow. He goes, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> just hearing Danny Brown say Five Nights at Freddy's might be the funniest thing I found this week. Brady, make sure you keep that in the video. Everyone needs to know about Danny Brown's Five Nights at Freddy's song. All right. I am, there is no shot I'm within Sucker Punch range. So I'm going to Hyper Voice and Moonblast. Just to make sure uh, I don't have to worry about a sash. Oh, is the sash somewhere else? Do you think he lives? I don't think he lives. Unless he's got the sash there. Okay, he does live. But. Do I? Yo! Throat chop. That's crazy, man. Do you have any last words? Just just curious. Do you have any last words? Is there anybody I should contact about this? No? Okay. I don't know if Sucker Punch KOs. It, like, Sucker Punch off of uh, Chen Pao tends to hit, like, a, a wet noodle against Ursaluna's. But this guy's got less physical bulk, I think. Don't be Terra Dark, because that will KO me. Oh! All right, he's embodying his aspect. Speed rose under Trick Room. Um, okay. So like I was saying, is there anyone I should contact about this? No, we're living that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Spring roll's just a little bit too strong. And he's gone. Well, I mean, he does have the sash, but uh, I have a silly duck. Silly duck, uh, send him to the Shadow Realm. Thank you, silly duck. I have a question, guys. So they terastalized just to go for spiky shield and i'm not sure what the point of that was does anyone in the chat 
<laughs> Does anyone in chat or the comment section know what the point of the mask is? Oh, I can't click that twice in a row. Now we have to click Earth Power. Ugh. If I had a nickel for every time a double moon team was viable, I'd have two nickels. And if I had a nickel for every time Ursaluna and Cresselia could be paired in a format and it would work well, I'd have two nickels. And if I had a nickel for every Ursaluna form that could be paired with the Cresselia, I would have two nickels. Collectively, that's six nickels. All right, so here's the rental team. Uh, full transparency, the Terra on the Ursaluna was supposed to be Ghost, but it's just a lot funnier. It's just a lot funnier with um, with normal. Uh, also, Amoongus's HP could be fixed. I'm not going to do that, though. It works. Uh, yeah, fun little team. I think Ursaluna is very broken. It could be a really fun Pokemon. I'm gonna, I might run it at Peoria Regionals, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, uh, and make sure you check out the playlist with all the other videos. Have a nice one. Bye.